I have actually uh, went through a gym when I was uh, 10 years old. Unaambiwa like it is painful but mm. don't ashamed. Yeah. You are your boyfriend. Then remember there is like 100 girls waiting to see if you will cry, if you will ashamed them. Wanakata lakini hujutaki kuibisha bwana hii kitu ni uchungu. A woman held my uh, uh, left thigh and the other one held, held my right thigh spread this one just you know hold my hand heavy both alishikilia hivi mwingine alishika hivi alafu just so that i she has good access to what she's doing now for the female circumciser sasa pain yangu mimi namba like my pain that was where like even my life started to be miserable that one day everything will end up uh, the reason why they say that they, they practice nini FGM is because uh, for the one who's uncut, well, you are considered as uh, uh, not pure. Mm -hmm. uh, you are not clean. You are you're unclean. As we speak right now, well, I don't know what time it is, but as we speak right now, every minute that we are sitting here, 10 to 20 girls are going through FGM and we don't know about them. Yeah. What's up, good people, man? It's your boy, DJ Moe's up. Even if karibu sana to the DJ Moe's podcast. And this is going to be a very special podcast because I have some amazing guests who are joining me on the podcast today. Lakini Mazi, I cannot wait for you to be able to engage with my guests. This is one of my most impactful podcasts, I believe, because it's a podcast with a great cause. And uh, first, let me start by saying thank you so much, Yanni, for your great company. Killer Time as you to join up every for the DJ Most podcast. I deeply appreciate each and every one of you. Every comment, you know, that's dropped in, you know, from whomever it is, Nasema Asante Sana. And, uh, you know, go ahead and continue sharing the podcast with your family, your friends, your loved ones. Uh, thank you for listening to it on all the audio podcast platforms that are available and also for joining us on YouTube as well. We deeply, as a crew, we deeply appreciate uh, your support, Cindy. Now, I say that today is going to be a different podcast because um, it's about an issue that many of us are afraid of talking about. But it needs to be greatly highlighted in the community uh, because this is a practice that has been going on for a while and we need to do something about it. We need to speak about it and actively take part in changing the narrative and actually stopping this that has been going on. What am I talking about? Guys are wondering. So, Juzi, uh, it was the International Day uh, of Zero Tolerance on Female Genital Mutilation, or some of you may call it Female Genital Cutting. This is a practice. Do I even call it a practice? Let's call it, call it a practice because guys have been propagating it and they've been doing it for so many, for so many years. Um, but it's something that we need to discourage and bring it to an end. As I was doing some research, one of the things that uh, that came up is uh, currently, you know, according to the data that's been released by the Kenyan government, if I'm not wrong, uh, that about, uh, you know, the prevalence of female genital mutilation or cutting has gone down to about 15%, which is still crazy because when you think about it, it's out of every 100 girls, 15 of them, are going through this uh, bad experience. And I say bad and uh, I have not experienced it and I have no way of experiencing it because I'm a man. But from what I've listened, what I've watched, what I've heard, I'm like something needs to change. You might be wondering most why you're having these conversations today. So I've got to say this. Last year, um, two things. Last year I had an opportunity to, uh, to go sit with some friends of mine. They invited me to go you know, sit in this forum and DJ uh, at this at this event that they were bringing together, all these ladies. And the essence was, you know, to highlight, you know, the gains that they have that they had made, especially when it comes to uh, stopping female genital mutilation. And when I was there, they played a video that has stuck with me six months later. When I think about that meeting, 
I'm like, this thing needs to stop. I was so uncomfortable being in that room that I had to talk about it. And I went ahead and I talked about it on social media. And it's one of those posts that don't gain much traction, you know, because you're going against the norm. And, or maybe guys are like, Moz, one of the Rebukuji Pendekeza, no, is because something needs to be done. When you hear, or when, when I watched and I heard what these ladies were talking about, the experience that they had gone through, there's no way I can shut up about it because I have two daughters. And I cannot imagine my daughters going through that. The other reason is, the other day I was traveling with my family. And um, so we got to the UK. My wife is, my, my wife is Scottish. So we got, to, we got to Glasgow. And as we were coming out, uh, after going through the immigration section, you know, we were called randomly, you know, when I find it's a random conversation. So here we are, my wife and I walking in with our two girls and our son. So uh, they asked us some very interesting questions. So where are you guys coming from? Ah, yeah, we're coming from you know, Nairobi, Kenya. Have you been, you know, you start having those conversations. Have you been to Kenya? And they're like, no. And then, you know, they go on to ask, yeah, what do you think about this thing about, you know, uh, FGM? Is it a big deal? And I was wondering, where are they coming from? Where is, where is this conversation going to, you know, in Endawabi? And, but what we didn't realize, and of course they talked to my daughter as well. So have you heard about this? Has anything happened to you? So as kids are going to visit the family, and, um, but we're wondering why are, they having, why are they asking my daughter this question? Why are they asking us about FGM if it's a big deal? And of course, I know it's a big deal. But later on, when I left, and after my conversations, when I came back here, I learned that, you know, this thing is so big that actually people from all over the world, you know, maybe who have traveled from here to other countries, that they'll bring back their girls here to go through FGM. That's why we were being asked those questions. Anyway, we do need to do something about it. And I'm glad to be able to have some wonderful guests who are joining me for the podcast today. Two beautiful ladies, Onaka Fiti Sanamaze, from two different parts of the country. But I'm so glad to be able to introduce them to you because, Yanni, I've had a good time already having a conversation with them. And I cannot wait for you guys to be able to, be able to engage with them. I'm talking about uh, on my left, immediate left, dressing a nice Masai regalia, Nampayo. Niaze. I hope you meet some of you poor. Uh, nampayo. 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 I love dinner pinili. Koreata. There it goes. Kota kusema vitu zangu. Nampayo is so good to anoe mazi hapa hivi kosho leo. Okay. Mi nime nime jinais. Nime shata jinais kabla hata nianze kuongea. Alafu nasikia kisema na jinais mazi. Ye ni show shtayari eh. Yeah. Uni show shum fresh. Eh. Sindi. Manyanga. Manyanga ndio sasa mazi. Karibu sana bana. Asante. Uko fiti? Niko fiti. Alafu on my extreme left yani again looking absolutely dapper mazi na kafu. Fiti sana, man. Representing Garissa County. She's here with us, Yanni. None other than Zaytun. How are you doing? I'm okay. How are you? Niko salama sana, Bana. Zaytun, what's your second name? Zaytun Mohamed Adan. Mohamed Adan. Yes. Karibu sana. Asante sana. Unaji his name again. Thanks for having me. I'm feeling so good. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm feeling lucky to be able to present not just Kenya, but my county as well. That's what's up. Yeah, so thanks for having me. I think the pleasure is all mine. And I want to say thank you so much, guys, for indulging me in these conversations. I love him to say, Mami mini Naume. So I am completely green. I've, heard, I've been in those spaces as I may come up with highlight, you know, especially. And I want to thank, let me say thank you to Worthy. Kwa sababu ondo alini invite hapo hivyo kuwa kwa yu conversation. Kwa sababu wali highlight kitu mazi. Nilikuwa na juu inaendelea, lakini siku appreciate until ili time nilienda kwa yu meeting. Kwa sema, yes, something needs to, something needs to change. Uh, we cannot continue mazi na kitu kama hii. So you are both survivors, yeah. Cindy. Yeah. And so if you do not mind, um, maybe we start uh, with, uh, with you, Nampayo. Yeah. Experience yako ilikuwa namna gani? Uh, my name is Nampayo Koryata. Ah, yeah. Nampayo Nmesema Zetun, yeah. Pole. Nampayo Koryata, I'm mm-hmm. a human rights defender. Mm-hmm. And I'm um, the founder of Nampayo Koryata Fistula Trust. Mm-hmm. I'm a survivor. Yes. I'm a mother mm-hmm. of five kids. Mm-hmm. And even now I'm a shosh. You're a, ma- a mother of five kids? <laughs> yeah. Na sasa ni shosh. Na mimi saizi ni shosh. Congratulations. <laughs> and uh, nimekuambia my human rights defender yes. from Naro. Yes. From Naro County, I'm a Maasai, mm-hmm. a pure one. Mm-hmm. Na um, that girl, uh-huh. the Maasai say that I'm holy. 
Yeah. I'm very holy. Kikiwa kwa culture of Maasai Lake. I'm very holy because I have undergo the the eleven steps which you have to be to undergo to be a real Maasai girl. Eleven steps. Eleven Step steps. number one. Step number one is kuilu kitoka wa mama watoke wa pigi nduru inje wa seme kito ishoche wa toto wa peo skari. Number one. Eh kuna ata uta maliza wacha tu. Eleven <laughs> steps. Eleven steps. Aha. Uh-huh. Uh, but i think kwa uh, hizo 11 steps mm-hmm. I, i think we have like uh, four or five enye sipo aju yeah. kuna ya kutolewa meno mm-hmm. ile kwa kuna wale watoto unatoka kama ukiwa kama mtoto kanyonge nyonge unatolewa na chimba na kisu so like ni vitu enye trauma zenye sinaanza tu kiguguza tu duniani hivi umeanza katoto umeanza kutembea like yeah. eh, you are uh, you are like two three years mm-hmm. when a toilet I mean, no, no, yeah. yeah, and you pat it like a gap yeah. kidogo kidogo wakiona wewe ni katoto mwenye una nguvu na katoa katoa unaikuwa madawa mm-hmm. like says me ni kiaza you know hii breast yangu hapa mm-hmm. nilikatwa ni kwa mdogo kwa sababu nilikuwa unaona tule tutoto tu mnyonge 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 like huko ana nguvu yeah nilikatwa kutolewa kitu na, na shindano inafanya hivyo na katwa na wembe so like easy pains ni vitu wenye wow. tu tumesoya ulianza kuwa mdogo ulianza kuwa mdogo yeah. so sasa zingine hata kuna vitu zingine zina happen in life like ah Ah, kuna safari unapitia kuna safari unapitia sasa zingine hata unakatwa na kisu una wow. because of the pain yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Eh. So me I'm the founder of Nampayo Koreta Fistula Trust. Yes. I can can I can say a little about myself, mm-hmm. about my story, about FGM, about Fistula. Mm-hmm. Uh like uh, I was born in Lulunga mm-hmm. and when I was in uh, class 6 uh, mm-hmm. I remember that I was told that in uh, on Thursday mm-hmm. 11 uh, like November mm-hmm. Uh, 22nd mm-hmm. you will undergo fgm mm-hmm. and those days it was like ah, now i'm moving i will not be a girl by january mm-hmm. I, i will call myself they call us enkile mm-hmm. like enkile like i'm that fresh hey. you see umekoma nimekoma so the world is open to me yeah so i remember enkile that enkile Mm-hmm. So I remember like uh, they they were they used to sing yeah for us like you know even if those time when you are young you had someone who a, 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 a boyfriend boy. a boyfriend so like unaambiwa yeah unaambiwa like it is painful but mm. don't ashamed yeah you are your boyfriend <laughs> Wow. No, mm-hmm. don't shame your dad. Yeah. Don't shame your big brother. Mm-hmm. So, so take it with pride. Take it with pride. Yeah. So like I remember tulikuwa tunatoka like in that December because it it used to start uh, 99. Mm-hmm. It was 99. Yeah. It used to start like from October. Mm-hmm. We move from this village to another village. Even our moms who are shown is if you to like we are very beautiful maleso to make cut is all like we go to different families mm-hmm. because like the girl will be will be circumcised yeah. in the morning. Mm-hmm. So we'll go to that family we sing for you in the morning there is that pot hapo juu ya nyumba like with a, a small wanaike ndolu kuna kitu inaitwa ndolu they put the uh, akachuma mm-hmm. unashoka mm-hmm. shoka yenyewe ile mm-hmm. wanaingiza like kwa pot ndio hiyo maji kwe buried mm-hmm. usiku then remember there is like hundred girls wow. waiting to see if you will cry if you will ashamed them You see even though this thing that you're about to go through is i guess hauna yeah uh, nini so hauna experience hauna experience lakini umeona watu wengine wakipitia but mm-hmm. umeona watu wengine wakipitia it is very painful but you have to be brave yeah and you have to stand even for your sisters like even me have. so you are here wametoa hiyo maji saa 12 matasi imehakishwa matochi wasichana wanaimba hapo nje 
So hiyo carrots unajua anga ile ka briefness yeah. wanaletele kumi mwagiwa hiyo maji wamelete jifu i remember maji baridi sasa una mwagiwa maji baridi una mwagi umetoa sasa nguo zote yeah. unaona mm. then even i remember hata siku hata na matiti na vile nilikuwa kakonde manzi yeah. then <laughs> umemwagiwa hiyo maji umekaa chini like the glitteries yeah. wanashika kwanza na jifu wow you see mm. Then they take the the whatever. They cut number one, number two, even the 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 the, the other lips. The, the outer majora. Yeah. Wow. The outer majora. Mm. Wanakata lakini hujutaki kuibisha bwana hii kitu ni uchungu. Wow. But because you don't want to ashame your mother, your brothers, mm. your your friends like eh unatulia umekatwa wa mama sasa hiyo sasa bado unakatwa ndio utasikia watu wakisema kamweni ngombe karibu amaliziwe wow. she's almost mm-hmm. na sasa hiyo mama anaingiza hivi kidole hebu kata tena hapa iko kanyama bado iko hapa you see so after that masiwe inakuja unamwagiwa unapelekwa kwa kitanda which kitanda ni unaenda kulalia kwa ngozi kwa sababu hawataki kwanza uwezi chafua mattress yeah. kuna like wameenda you know that's why i'm telling you like they see us like holy mm-hmm. because first uli kuna kutubu sasa kabla unini hiyo kuna kutolewa kwa nyumba alafu mm-hmm. sasa utaeri mm-hmm. so wanaenda kuchukua the olive tree mm-hmm. from very far away and even you know the mass even know that this olive tree is holy this olive tree is not holy mm-hmm. so take this mm-hmm. so they will bring wa wa ekelek kwa bed mm-hmm. then they bring you with that ngozi ya ngombe mm-hmm. na ulalie huko so like umelala kuna kitu inaitwa ngala mm-hmm. ngala ni so you are there wana believe ngombe bado sikuwa kwa sisi mm-hmm. lazima usikie uchungu yeah. So unasikia vitu sinakukula kaza the pain of started now oh my gosh now like you in this world sasa pain yangu mimi namba like my pain mm-hmm. that was where like even my life started to be miserable that one day wow. everything will end west so like ngombe sitolewe waende watoe sasa hiyo sasa wanatoa ile damu baada hiyo sasa ndio wanakuletea damu piwa hakuna kitu inachanganyishwa na hiyo sasa ikiwa moto mm-hmm. you take it then sasa wanasema tuini ngombe then let me tell you these cultures mm-hmm. there are some beliefs which work ju ngombe kitoleo unalala huh? with all the pain ujadungwa shindano unalala hata unizalala mpaka like uh, isi masaso jua ikiwaka mm-hmm. wanakutoanga nje mm-hmm. kumbuka ile makatsi umekatwa yeah. like 6 time unatolewa nje like the, the women are there waiting for you to go and see if there is ka, kanyama yenye kutolewa oh, so that they can repeat to cut it so i was lucky hakuna kanyama yenye hakuna kanyama yenye ilikuwa imekatwa otherwise wangerudia otherwise wangerudia oh, no amerudia wengine hata wengine wamerudiwa like if a girl in masai if you get pregnant when you are not circumcised mm-hmm. like you will be ex- excommunicated forever like hata always ingia mali yenye madam kama sisi tuko jisisi we are very holy yeah, yeah. so if you get pregnant before circumcision mm-hmm. they call you and rapai and you are and you are kid is enturpa so the kid and the mother are very unholy yeah. the community hakuna hakuna any culture lenye watai karibia wow. any anything about the culture mm. so after that after a few days at least unachinjua unapewa mafuta uh-huh, ma fries hiyo sasa unaikwa so in that stage mm-hmm. you are allowed to enjoy Yeah. What you do is moving from one family to another kwenda kuona wasiana wa kitairi. Yeah. Na sasa sisi tukifika jusi we are calling Kaibartak. Mm-hmm. Then Kaibartak are very special. Mm-hmm. They are very special people. Kwa hivyo tukifika wasemekana ile nyumba ni ya Kaibartak mm-hmm. and Kaibartak because we move with boys. Yeah. Kaibartak and Kaibartak tunapewa nyumba yetu, tunapewa chakula yetu special. Hakuna mtu atalishwa kwanza. Wow. Ni sisi ndio first. Mm-hmm. Then in that in that nini situation mm-hmm. about a man of two months mm-hmm. ata wewe lazima 
you don't have to do any sex. Mm -hmm. Ata, mm -hmm. you don't have, lakini nile tu trauma wajui, yeah. ata hiyo trauma nyuko na ayo, ayuwezi ata kukupea, yeah. ufanya anything. Mm -hmm. So after that, sikuwe nyu unaenda kutolewa hiyo nyuele sasa, it is another celebration. Mm -hmm. they, they celebrate. Mm -hmm. Ununulungu umpia via tumpia ile ngu, you know masses, they don't allow you to ufa ile ngu tena ya ustiana uh -huh. baada ya kutolo yu nyuili. So you are in another stage of life. Yeah. Ata kama shule sa nguza sa uniform sa shule silikuwa bado sina kutosha, mm -hmm. ile nyu liku unafaa ukiwa mustiana hakuna. So me I went back to school na ikabidi ni ju, skule ni kifanya mtiani, mm -hmm. I was so traumatized mm -hmm. that after you mtiani nili fail, so I had to, to repeat, yeah. like classics, it was 2000. Then, nikaendelea, so there is this sasaka story, sasaka nakuja, now we are women. Hey, number you don't have a boyfriend. Eh? Number you is very stupid. Yeah. You are very stupid if you don't have a boyfriend, even you know some guys who want to, to nini you. Yeah. Then, th there is this, another... A story coming to him like a camera with Jato Bolewa. Like, if you are a virgin, uh -huh. oh, you wow. are not a woman. So, <laughs> so, so, you, so you have to break your virginity. So, kuna pressure after Ukusha wants to be circumcised. circumcised. So, you have another pressure that you are a virgin. You have to break your virginity, or the women will come with like a small calabash and they will, eh, they will toboa. <laughs> you see, so after that, it is better than you sleep with a man, a man yeah. than uh, Getting the women. <laughs> yeah. Uh, after that, I uh, had this guy. He come from a very prominent family. Okay, he decided, like, I have to break my virginity. Yeah. And here, I'm now I'm pregnant in 202. Uh, and you're like 14 and, years uh, old? I'm 15. 15 years at that time. I'm 15 years. And uh, in uh, 2003, like 2003, January, I nearly part of my first born. Wow. I was young. I was a kid. And I was very bright, by the way. Very bright girl. Like in Vilu With a very you. bright future. Yeah. But Sasa, kuna vitu zim obstacles, Sasa, Messia, Inkia, Kolevia, Kolek. Nothing. Your else. life is zero. Yeah. So I'm here, I, I have a kid, I have to go to form one. Mm -hmm. And to make the matter worst, mm -hmm. now I have fistula. Then fistula is another normal thing for the masses. Yeah. Because they know like, etushule, etushule, eti, like the, the vagina and the anus, mm -hmm. it's in the it is it is normal for the women to have that. Yeah. It, it is not a big deal. Also, oh, they normalize it. Yeah, they normalize it. Like, si kuna, kuna kuanga, kulikuanga tuna wanawake wakujikojole, hata wakati wa mama zetu. So you are not the first one. So you are this girl, you want to go to school. You are other age mates. Wana wana progress. Like I remember in 2003, mm -hmm. like my brother went to, to a certain school in uh, Bomet mm -hmm. and he came like he was telling me, like, do you know what is biology yeah. or do you know what is chemistry? So like I was like a very poor girl, wow. like I was like nothing, mm -hmm. my life is abandoned. So in 2004, mm -hmm. uh, I went back to school. My mom took care of my, my baby, yeah. and I went back to school. But remember now, I have what? Fistula. fistula. Do you want to pause here? Yeah. We come back to the issue about fistula. Okay. So we get to hear Zaituni's experience as well, if you don't mind, Zaituni. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, so uh, in the Somali community, mm -hmm. um, I have actually uh, went through FGM when I was uh, 10 years old. Mm -hmm. Um. We, we we were living in Nakuru, so we were brought to Garissa yeah. to on during holiday mm -hmm. uh, to go through this as a group. Mm -hmm. So normally you are taken as a group, a group of ten, a group of seven, a group of twenty mm -hmm. to undergo this. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember it was around ten a.m. Yeah. and uh, uh, there's this thing, uh, madrasa, duksi. Mm -hmm. uh, we call it duksi in Somali. Yeah. We go there mm -hmm. to study Quran. And 
if you 10 a.m., mm-hmm. you will come for breakfast home. Yeah. Yeah. So I was not told anything. I slept home uh, the previous night. Mm-hmm. I was not told anything. Yeah. I went uh, to Duxi, came back around 10 a.m. Uh, my mom says at me, I'm like eating that this healthy, you know, when we are very healthy and uh, so bubbly when we are young. Yeah. And you wouldn't know what's going on. Mm-hmm. So uh, the mothers met. Now the girls that are going to be cut as a group now. We Did you know you were going for seven. the cutterman? No. no, I just had my breakfast, preparing to go back to madrasa. Yeah. Uh, we're told that you're not going. Go, you're not going to go back to madrasa. You're going to be uh, staying here home mm-hmm. for a while mm-hmm. because you will be going through uh, now FGM. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's this. Uh, it's they call it uh, norm. You know, uh, that you have to go through as a Somali woman, Muslim girl, mm-hmm. that, uh, you, you know, like it's something and it will take. I was told it was going to take around 20 minutes mm-hmm. or less. Yeah. Uh, not knowing what I was going to go into, you know, uh, I ran away. Mm-hmm. I ran away. Did you know about FGM I was told, before? Uh, or, no, or I did not know now? anything. Yeah. I was told there's something that you must go through mm-hmm. and it's going to be something around your genitalia. Yeah. That something is going to be done uh, yeah. to you. Mm-hmm. And I was like, uh, no, why would you do that? Mm-hmm. I was just born like this. Yeah. You know? And I'm like, who are the other girls? I want to know them. And another one, uh, she's called, she does, she called me a kanebea. Hey, kujani kwambie. You know this thing, me, I know them. You know, my sisters have gone through it. Mm-hmm. She was a, a bit elder yeah. uh, than me. Mm-hmm. And she told me, uh, this thing, you have to, it, they do this and this. They are a group of women, huge women, yeah. who will be coming to you, holding your thighs separately. And the woman, uh, now the female circumciser will come and just do, uh, you know, like those, that yeah. you have to go through that. When she told me the entire procedure, I actually got shocked when she told me that big women will be coming and holding, not just spreading your thighs, mm. but also like getting a hold of your entire body. That means holding you cannot, hand. yeah, you cannot fight back. Wow. Everything that you need to ba- fight back for, the strength, you don't have it. Wow. It's taken. And uh, your mom is literally sitting there. So when she told me that, she, she told me, I have an idea. I want to run. Mm-hmm. She, are you going to come with me? Yes. Mm-hmm. We ran away. Okay? You and your mom? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, they sent guys, uh, brothers, uh, the, the neighbors, wow. boys, to come and just capture us to request. To liqu- so, to the Fukuzana. Uh, we ran around uh, mm-hmm. 500 meters. It was very long, trust wow. me. And we were like, uh, where, where can we go? Do you know a place that we can hide? No, we don't know what mm-hmm. to do. The others, the other, I remember I said earlier, it, we were seven. Yeah. Out of seven, five remained. They just wanted to go through it. Mm-hmm. My mom uh, was told that they captured me, actually. Mm-hmm. So my mom told me, uh, uh, they, told, they called my mom and told the, uh, my, my mom to come and, uh, you know, where we are. Mm-hmm. Then Jew, we were resistance. Yeah. Just, uh, uh, resistance. Mm-hmm. We didn't want to be moved from like where we were. Then they, they used, you know, like force while it to beba to kuja all the way home. That time you're kicking. Yeah, and, mm-hmm. mom, um, we, t- we inc- intercepted with mom katikati yeah. before home and after where we were, yeah. from where we were. And my mom uh, told me, can I have a talk with you uh, alongside my my aunt? And I just sat uh, to lend a, a separate place. And then I can you know, at that time, uh, the currency, uh, the, the money, the mm-hmm. Kenyan money, ilikuwa mashilingi, the five bob, yeah. the, uh, the silver, yeah. the small one, the 10 bobs, yes. the notes. Mm-hmm. I, I was born with notes over <laughs> here. So uh, all, and you know, I piled up money and money is my weakness. So nearly on your pesa. You know, when you're younger, yeah. you want to have sweets, you want to go to the shop, yeah. do something. I was so excited. I was like, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to go through, but I, I'm seeing this. So my mom is telling me, you see all this, I'm going to give you all this once you're done with this uh, cut, whatever that you're going to go through. Uh, so my, I don't know where my dad was. I, I can't picture. I yeah. can. I, I am actually having that picture of like how whatever I'm telling you right now, mm-hmm. and I can't picture where I saw my dad. So you we were no, I can't see him. But my, I just uh, said, oh, it's okay. You know, it was tense. I, it was, it, it was. Uh, I was in a stress. I was wondering, you know. Uh, so we went. We were 
the group of seven now, we went to, we were taken to a small uh, place. Hata sijui mtu hata watu wanne hata hawezi tosha. So uh, tutawekwa tuta two weeks to heal somewhere alongside nyumba fulani tu. Mm-hmm. It was a uh, uh, mali yenye uh, just uh, an outcast of like nowhere like yeah. a place in here. I think walikuwa wanasema some grandmas that uh, was from uh, the other neighboring uh, you know community yeah. when uh, the girl was going through uh, their daughter was going through this wa ende wa heal huko. So I, I I was the third person going through it. So kwanza alienda wapile but I'm still convinced about the money yeah. now, you know could you, hear, could you hear what was happening in there where the girls the were? Scr- hey, yes. Uh, the second girl, the second girl bled vibaya sana. And she screamed and I got tense. Me sasa sasa hiyo ndo I got scared. I was like no I puked a lot. I remember going to the t- uh, toilet loyote. I didn't know what you were going through. Nini na like I'm just freezing, you know. You can't run away. People are just at the door yeah. waiting for you like if you're running away they will just distract you. So um when uh, we were the girl the second girl went through it and I was told oh it was just a small thing and it Elisha to evil going through there. There was multiple things that were put you know like down mm-hmm. there there was kamkeka there was the woman now the female circumciser there was there was the other four women big yeah. huge women and i was like okay How what she said was true so i was told the car to hapa trust me it's not painful it's not it's not going to even take you the minute you uta uta nini uh uta go through uta uta sahau, you know and i just sat there then i was crying a lot i remember i cried so much like like ile tuna scream unaona like uh there are tears but then you screaming within like and you, it's not out out loud yeah. and you see like nobody is supporting you hapo is just you by yourself so sh- this woman a, a woman held my uh, uh, left thigh and the other one held, held my right thigh spread this one just you know hold my hand heavy both mm-hmm. Alishikilia hivi mwingine alinshika hivi alafu just so that i she has good access to what she's doing now the female circumciser so uh i had to like nalia na sijui ni nini nafanya and then there's this thing that they use a uh, organic stuff in akwanga like uh, they, that is what they call them in somali they call it uh, malmal and they call it uh, hambak mm-hmm. so they grow kwa uh, nini trees mm-hmm. Uh, somewhere to, uh, in the middle hapo so they just take those ones some other herbal stuff eh wana nini uh alafu wana sijui they are going to put it once they are they cut the place yeah. okay and it's so painful unawashwa wow. sana so when uh, this was happening mimi i and uh, you know hakuna that stabilizer that thing that you know uh, you don't have to feel pain the one that numbs you. no yes the one that numbs you mm. they don't use that there's no they, remember these people are not medical people yeah. these people are not people who went to school to study for this yeah. these are people that just you know like found their own way of like doing this mm. uh, cut mm-hmm. and just did it like that yeah. so uh this thing when uh she these whatever uh, that uh, normally CC we go through is type 1 there's four types of mm-hmm. fgm we go through type 2 and type type 1 type 2 and sometimes type type 3 wow. not uh, yeah so what's type 1 uh they call it clitoridomy something like that mm-hmm. i'm not say uh, uh, having the terms yet but it's total and uh, remove partial or total removal of the uh you know like genitalia the uh-huh. yes the other one is now they is now the same mm-hmm. the outer the inner majora mm-hmm. and it's going to be cut alongside the clitoris um i'm not that specialized in yeah, it in but terms. yeah in the terms and uh when they do the bo- both of them sometimes they can uh, shona mm-hmm. the ina majora mm-hmm. when they cut the clit and shona do both of them evil mm-hmm. then they leave the uh, outer majora yeah uh, some uh, the others uh, do uh, cut uh, cutting the clitoris mm-hmm. the ina majoras both mm-hmm. and the outer uh, the, in, the ina minora mm-hmm. the outer majora ndo wanachukua wanai seize mm-hmm. together so when i funga alafu wanachukua some uh, you know like sindano uh, wanakata na wanashona nao that is what 
normally uh, the girls have gone through mm-hmm. eh, kuna wenye wanachukua ngamiba mm-hmm. wana wana wanashona na miba hata Kun, so my, my uh, what i've gone through was like you know like the entire not all that but then type sort of like type 1 and a, a bit of type 2 and uh, when i was cut uh, the entire thing was happening i knew that i was crying a lot and i saw my blood by the way i i don't know how this one when that was here mm-hmm. and ali lose you know how they, she was holding me and i felt like i was like i came in here like this and then that was held back yeah, yeah? so i saw uh, blood and i saw some stuff that the woman prepared you saw some herbal stuff there and she did aki aleka hizo vitu ndo anaeka juu yake naona hapo kwa malenye yes so that i can heal she had put those things there and wakakuja na kamba wakanifunga funga kutoka huku mguu huku then i was funga no one men funga huko men letter eh leso nilifunga na leso hadi hapa so i was walking using a stick so niliamsh niliamka and I'm, it's so painful i'm feeling a lot of pain let alone even like uh, feeling uh you know um you know like a uh, heart like enough na feel like eh uh, kuko join and she na nisumbua nini and nili feel kuko jo by the way when i was standing up and i was like i cried vibaya then that thing that she had put inside zili talker you know when now it was just something in i don't know i i, I lost control i think mm-hmm. they had to remove the kamba rudia niwekewe tena hizo hubbles so I, it was i cried a lot i can every time that i am talking about uh, fgm that thing that have gone that the experience that i've gone through yeah is what i'm remembering and you know like it keeps on coming back yeah. to my brains yeah. so i was i joined i went while in funga marapili i joined the others and when it comes to whatever you eat uh you're not allowed to eat something with uh with uh, uh mafta a mm-hmm. uh, nyama is mm-hmm. it you just feed on bread mm-hmm. something dry is what you're feeding on you can imagine sisi like that the food itself you're not eating and you've gone through yeah. such kind of you know like, like anything, very healthy. disturbing yeah. stuff you're mm-hmm. not eating healthy stuff just because you are told that you are not going to heal mm-hmm. from haraka yeah so i was taken there and i remember we were visited by uh, after what to lipele kwa huko and they were visited by the madrasa friends and they were like uh sisi we haven't gone through this thing mtuambi experiences it. you're going through so much yeah. and you they really want you to talk about this trust me from the time that i went through the cut up to your your time when i was healing i was not okay i was not sleeping yeah. i was so uncomfortable mm-hmm. and like ukiamka like kunaenda cho kulikuwa na uh wanachimba a place mm-hmm. wanaeka moto like now charcoal mm-hmm. burning charcoals inside yeah. when you go pee you pee sideways remember you are all yeah. wrapped like nini umefunga funga kila mahali so uta utaenda na hiyo kijiti yako you walk and you will be sati, sitting somewhere and sideways to uko hivi you always spread your legs mm-hmm. to even access you cannot even this place is like no it's hard like yeah. you know you feeling a lot of pain so you move either to your right or to your to to your left to pee wow. so once you pee like unaona sasa hizo vitu zenye inaitwa nini the things the herbal stuff in yeah. ziko hapo and stuff like that will pole pole zinaenda siki ishanga mm-hmm. so most of the things zenye wanafanya is for you to heal haraka unapelekwa kwa hiyo shimo and then they they just you know like put you there to just you know the you know the place in at least ishikane mm-hmm. you know it's quite like there's something that's happening yeah. like but i maybe she has a and as a spread maybe yeah. inaweza kwa umstana they call it in somali with the way kala delay so uh, that is what you uh, have gone through mimi personally it took me th- uh, two weeks a lot like close to three weeks to heal mm-hmm. and 
Uh, the reason why they say that they they practice many FGM is because uh, for the one who's uncut, well, you are considered as uh, uh, not pure. Mm -hmm. uh, you are not clean. You are you are unclean. You are not needed in the community. Yeah. Uh, you're just banished from the community. Yeah. You how you must for a Somali Muslim woman growing up to be the the growing up to become who you, you know uh, uh, as you grow old. Yeah. You are, you must go through these norms, these stages of life. Uh, uh, so you know, so like, basically, for you to be a respected Maasai woman mm -hmm. or to be a respected uh, Somali woman, you have to go through this experience. Yes, yeah. you must go through it, and uh, you, it it's it comes like in a, in a, it's done differently. So if in town, Mimi, where I live in, is in within town, mm -hmm. is if in town they're doing this. Out there, kwa mashinani, it's different. Yeah. How they do it here is different from there. You will see, Uko, it's more of like, in uh, a uh, they, they, they entire genitalia wanaikata. Yote, yani hakuna kitu yenye imirimeni. Wanaifungana, wanafunga funga kila mahali and have narrow opening. I talked about yeah. a type like that. Mm -hmm. A very narrow opening where anakojoa. I'm not saying the other side. Ile place tu anakojoa, tu anachiliwa. No, no. That yeah. narrow opening of which, if she says she's going to, P, mm -hmm. it's going to be like that. Is why uh, CC, even any any uh, survivor who have gone through FGM water, mm -hmm. they th we have a series of like infections uh, yeah. episodes. Mm -hmm. infections in as you and then there's this uh, perception that they have in like Kilamara when they see you are young. Uh, CC, we are they are all doing this to preserve you know like uh, us for the men. No, yeah. no, they are preparing us for the man who's going to marry, to marry us. Uh, there are uh, cases that, you know, if this woman is uh, is married or even unmarried, they have not married before and maybe they uh, lost their virginity or not because you can go through a type of FGM and yeah, uh, like even your virginity might be broken. Yeah. It, it, look, it would look like that, yeah? Mm -hmm. And you're taken to your man, Usiku, and he sees like ah who you to mwenye alitumika sana wow. you know you you're not giving you're not bringing me a virgin you bring me and the 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 daughter returns back to her family and it's because of the the FGM, FGM. process that she yeah did. coming back to we have like it has long term effects and the short term effects yeah. uh, FGM the yeah. short term the long term effects are there now infections you're prone to infections yeah. and in the somali community msana kiwa na infections unaambiwa kwani have you met a man infections nobody knows this mm. awareness creation is limited uh, uh, even them people you know at least you can come out and learn things as, mm. as, a, and as an individual yeah. tell me about this people are not uh, the community is not even ready to learn yeah. in easy yeah. even the female circumcisers mm -hmm. yeah so you will see a Somali sasa Mimi I am I'm getting uh, you know like periods here when I'm when we get a monthly that. cycle mm -hmm. you will see like uh, we have like, uh, you know, like infections, like we have cramps, like crazy cramps, and we have to go to the hospital to be injected sometimes. Mm -hmm. When Guinea, they, they don't even eat from the day one to the day in Yawana Maliza, they puke. Mm -hmm. So those are the ty the effects that the F uh, uh, that FGM has got. And, and as you talk about effects, Nani, Nampai Lukonongia Kusu Fistula, Ebutuadeze Kidogo Tafadali. Uh, because this is one of the consequences. Yeah. Sindio. Like for me, I'm the fistula mm -hmm. ambassador, like in the whole country. Mm -hmm. uh, so like, I remember the first day, ata nikuwa nakumbuka like venya lisema hizo ma type C ni type C. Kama sisi like, the kisses and the couriers, they practice type A. Mm -hmm. uh, type 1. You yeah, know, type one, love, yeah. love sisi wa masai wa samburu. We practice like uh, you type 2 or lafu like how and you wanna nini they show na you and you type 3 so like sisi hata sisi tunakumbuka like umesha nini alafu naambiwa kila asubuhi ukienda kukojo unafanya hivi mkono yeah. unaekelea hapo hiyo mkojo isitoke hapo oh my gosh ndio mkojo mm -hmm. ikufanya aje ikukule ndio ipone sasa zingine wakiona wanakuja wanasema bufu nguo wanaizenda hata ngombe ikitoa mkojo inafanywa hivi na unakuja unaambiwa oh, kaa vizuri uoshwe mm -hmm. So me, uh, nime Malisa, like uh, primary nilipata. Nili to underweta girls. Mm -hmm. It was a professional school. Yeah. And I'm this girl from the, the, the interior. Mm -hmm. Nani me to a professional school in Bomet. Yeah. So I remember the first day 
I was in this town called Silibwet. Mm-hmm. By the way, I come from a good family. Yeah. I took even by. Mm-hmm. So I was in this town. 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 I was in this town called Silibwet. Yeah. Then, all of a sudden, because if you have fistula, mm-hmm. Kuna to trick, kuna to nini to to nap and quacko. If you happy, choi natoka. If you are sad, choi natoka. Mm-hmm. So, Nilikua ni, ni Lake, I've stayed at home for like a full year, mm-hmm. 2003, Nikishika mtoto, mm-hmm. watoto amenda, wengine amenda shule. Mm-hmm. So, first I'm depressed. Mm-hmm. So, Nikikula, Nikikua excited, choi natoka. Nikikua nafura, choi natoka. Mm-hmm. Nikikula anything cho inatoka. Then remember hata nikipishika hii mimba yangu mimi sikuwa najua wake. I see as you kwa story na periods. Mm-hmm. Miss the on a period. Hata hata yeah. So I was in this town. Brother wangu akanimbia 20 tukule. I remember my brother alikuwa amenunulia beka smart, masuruali, mapandi nimefaa. Mm-hmm. Hata kabisa mpaka alikuwa ananiuliza uko na pandi ngapi uko na ni because in my mother's house to kwa wili tu my yeah. brother and me mm-hmm. Ah nimeenda sasa ile tu nilimaliza chakula nikasikia tu mimeza cho ni naona chui kipita huko kwa miguu then ika town ka dogo so nilishuka kwa gari ya brother yangu nikakimbia juu kuna cho niliona mm-hmm. nikakimbia mpaka hiyo cho So because I don't want my brother to know what is I'm what I'm going through ni akaniambia namba mbona umekimbia nikamwambia ni periods periods zangu zimetoka periods gani my friend baika yangu pandi yangu ilikuwa cho yote so nikachukua like nikajipanguza so nangangana kumwambia huyo mama nilinga kwa boma ya wenyewe and aende uh, afungue hiyo bag yangu ya shule wanitafutie suruali na nitafutie maji na nilete pad mm-hmm. so we go to school zile tuko kwa shule nikasikia tena tumbo imefanya hivi mm-hmm. cho ikatoka mm-hmm. lakini at least nimeweka pad hata hiyo mama ndio alikuwa anamwambia shikunieke hiyo pad mm-hmm. akaeka lakini sasa sasa hata nimemaliza tu nini nikimbia kwa cho yeah. kwenda kuona cho tena imeja so uko kwa shule nikaanza kuwa na ile low self esteem. Mhm. Mimi hata siku hata sasa niko huyu msichana niko class, alafu ukiwa na fistula unanyambanga ofi ovyo. Kwa hivyo saizi kama ningekuwa bado na fistula ningeamuka hapa alafu usike like for real uh-huh. ile yenye kila mtu atasikia like What is, wrong, what is wrong with yeah. this girl? So ukiwa shule oh, wow. unaanza kujitenga tenga. Alafu ilikuwa ikisemekana break unahakikisha umesukuma loka yako na nguvu. Ndio ile like ile kahewa katoke. Ukipie cho when you hakikisha hiyo hewa imetoka yote. <laughs> you see? So the hewa is out now yeah. ukiwa pared like mkiwa parade wewe tu kila saa and even now mm-hmm. you know fistula imefanya wanawake wakue kuna wanawake wamekuwa disable juu ile unasikia anga fistu yeah. oh, unafinya miguu hivi the muscles sinaanza kufanya aje even now i have like two two ladies wenye wako totally disable because of hiyo unakasa like like his muscles and, the, and this was brought about by by FG. FG. Yeah. yeah you see and when let me ask you like now Um, as both of you are listening to each other's story yeah. are you able to connect na muone man i've gone through that in fact you can give na yeah nilipitia hiyo yeah like i can tell her mm-hmm. kuna wakati yenye unapata periods unaona kama hapo mahali yenye tusemu ulikatu so you know they cut even the fence mm-hmm. so there is that pain yenye like periods sikikaribia kuja manze kuna kaka ka, ka, nini ka uchungu kana kujanga very early in the morning which ukishika juice obvious utafinya hivi nduone kama hiyo ka uchungu kataisha you always remember about fgm mm-hmm. so like it it is a life time torture you know one of the things way and i hope guys that as you listen to this podcast or watching it that you're getting to appreciate the magnitude of fgm you know i had listened to it before niko meona ile time nilienda you know hapo hivyo sarit center nikai check but now sitting down and listening to both of you i'm like this has got to be 
the only way you can describe it is a human right violation. Yeah. yeah. There's no other way. There's no other way to look at it. Yeah. What what good can we say? Nothing. When you're being held, as you as you're saying, you have no control. You know. Alafu nasema, then you think about the opportunities that you lose as well. Yeah, like for me, like me, I'm, I'm a form to drop out. Yeah. My share angle like really. So for me, when I was in uh, form two, mm -hmm. the the story like we need to I cannot like even I cannot go to the assembly. Yeah. Like every time I have to to danganya like I'm I'm not feeling well. I have the called my brother. Yeah. Jukiwa kwa assembly unanyamba nyamba ukura story mingi. So I had villain Ilienda home. Mm -hmm. There was this guy who was catering me, so I say, I have to get another pregnancy so that I can drop. Yeah. I was informed too. And Nika drop, so that was my second kid. Jamaa kunyoa, wetu tu ni konyumbani, zasa ni, zasa like, ulisa, umesa tena, ukona fistula, akuna mtu watanata kujua yeah. fistula. So, like for me, mm -hmm. there, there, there was, that was my, my, my activism was wow. born. Wow. So ndio nikaanza kwa village serikali wamesema muokote taka taka lakini mimi niko na shida mm -hmm. watu wakienda sherehe mimi siendi sherehe siwezi enda kula kwa wenyewe yeah yeah kitu tafanyika unaona hata mm -hmm. nikikula nitakula kwetu kwa bedroom mm -hmm. kama chuo itatoka ndaenda tu kwa chuo kwetu yeah. then even my mom and the people around nilikuwa nimekonda lakini hakuna mtu hata anaweza sema ni nakula mtoto yeah like then you remember those years ni hizo miaka ndio watu walikufa sana na ukimwi yeah so like umekonda watu wanafikiria umekonda watu wanakusengenya you don't have friends mm -hmm. you're this girl so merudi kwa village umeka au na live au uko shule sasa umekuwa idola sasa yeah. wa village ni sherehe ikiwa mahali uwezi enda kwa sababu uko na fistula kwa hivyo hata uwezi yeah. enda kukula so one day to this year alisema kulikuwa na activist walikuja ilikuwa about uh, avia 2 there was a story about Afia 2. Mm -hmm. Afia 2 wakakujwa kitafta like na uh, an organization called, called Christian Partners Development Agency. Mm -hmm. Walikuwa na tafta activist. Mm -hmm. Wale wamesumbua, wale watu wakuongea, wale watu for call. Mm -hmm. Ay manze, mi nilikuwa tuka senda ketu, mi ndio president wakatio. Nika zeba, bibi niko then. It was about... Governor, some, ilikuwa ni mambo ya kushambulia like viongozi. Mm -hmm. Eh, nilikuwa napenda yu. Eh, ni, kwanza na rockdown mi sikuwa ni meyo na tena. Juu, mm -hmm. unona ule mtoto mwenye, wasesi wa lukupeleka shule, umepata tena yeah. ball na umerudia tena kupata. Mm -hmm. So at least nika enda hii meeting, mm -hmm. there, there was this guy. Mm -hmm. Haka nikatia. And he married me for 13 good years. And na nikapata watoto wengine. Oh my gosh. But sasa the problem then ika ingilia hapa. Yeah. Like, ndi wana sasa FGM, ndi wana kuambia it is a lifetime torture. So this guy, we use, I use like. It will affect you throughout your life. From the day you are born up to the day you are dying. As a woman. Do you remember, like this guy, Akujua ni kuna fistula, mm -hmm. Aki, akinisalia watoto wote. Mm -hmm. Then alikuwa tuwa na jua udema kuna shida kwa tumbo, mm -hmm. na alikuwa na nipeleka kabisa kwa daktari. Wow, na ninapa wa dawa, like ma dia stop. Kuna ma, ku, there was a, a small dawa called charcoal. Uh -huh. I used to take it like every morning oh, before, to stop, to stop the diarrhea. The, the wow. Unaona? Mm. Unaweza kata 3 days ama 4 days ujaitoa choju. Ninaamka na mesa chako. Naamka yeah. na mesa chako. So una hata unajidhuru zaidi. So unaji ni ni saidi. And the do, let me wacha niulize. Yeah. Madaktari awashikanishi kuwa hii ni complication imeletwa na hii. They Hiyo fistu imeletwa na FGM. They do know. Mm -hmm. Wanajua. Uh, but then the thing is this is something that is it is done at community level, at household level, yeah? yeah? People can are not now as are the ones who are voicing for the voiceless yeah. survivors coming out. Mm -hmm. uh, I think Alice will be talking about SLT, SLT training. In fact, yeah, Alice yeah. is going to come join us. So um, that SLT training, mm -hmm. you know, um, 
as survivors mm-hmm. tulikuwa tu one of those people who don't want to come out mm-hmm. to approach you know like uh, uh, the, the the medical officers yeah. to go and uh, air out and uh, through social media mm-hmm. uh, to go and even our create awareness and give education to our communities those are the things and because of stigma mm-hmm. unaweza we have gone through uh, nini fgm and the community sasa when you want to preserve for that man mm-hmm. uh, you know in the somali community the line the the chain in akwanga going through fgm staying at home mm-hmm. not living home not working uko tu nyumbani then suitors will come in akwanga mostly arranged to marriage a mm-hmm. uh, child marriages mm-hmm. you know um without even your consent people yeah. come and the suitors come and they just give the, the you know like at a younger age to you to to the suitors yeah So you see all that that I've mentioned going even to the husband is unable to break the virginity and I end up mstana na chukuliwa na pelekwa nini hosi yeah to the doctors and to, to to break the virginity for the man come back you don't know how they go about it you know and then the woman is like leo yote ana ana ile infections like are coming up in a affect sana mm-hmm. so if you know with the SLT now when we when sasa tulikuwa tu uh, you know home and i remember when i joined slt actually it was you know swahili what we say is kuwej tume yeah. not kujituma mm-hmm. and i remember the first time when i came out loud to speak about this was like it took me a lot a while to do that yeah. and i remember i gathered some survivors mm-hmm. who, just at community level who are also educated mm-hmm. to come and join me yeah. advocating for other you know the, the the other girls mm-hmm. who are voiceless to even represent them on be, on their behalf yeah, yeah. Yeah. So tulitoka uh, we I, I remember uh, nilifungua Twitter by then and I told them to join Twitter uh, look for quotes you know like something and uh, like uh, educate the, the the social media create awareness mm-hmm. so that at least in as I reach out to come to mm-hmm. uh, coming up with a hashtag then I was noticed uh, the, the entire thing went viral yeah. and I was told eh hey, unajua nini in the community at community level mm-hmm. do you know who did that eh hey, she was she is the one who you know came up with the, the initiative ni huyo sasa she has gone through fgm akienda social media ni itamsaidia aje So you it, see yeah. as as the the motive that we have got and uh, that we have is to just uh voice out yeah, uh, what, you know uh, what we are going through yeah. to see if we we can you know like do and do this thing mm-hmm. if we can even end it you yeah. know if we can even get support you mm-hmm. see but how the community perceives us is different mm-hmm. you see so um i remember this uh uh the social media visibility uh, was seen actually it coming to garissa yeah. I, i they were told them uh, there's this uh, uh, fgm you know like th- this girl who you know like uh, creates awareness with her group Champion. call them champions yeah. yeah come and you know like they, they just call them out and we will listen to them i yeah. remember someone from the girl generation smile mm-hmm. and uh you know and they came uh options uh, the girl generation teams yeah Uh, 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 they came to Garissa and the time that I saw them I felt relieved trust me I just felt like I want to tell them everything wow. I want to tell I want to even take them to the uh, the community and even like let uh, show them what is going to what yeah. is ongoing there yeah. remember the reporting mechanisms the reporting pathways hapo kwanza ndo zilikuwa weak sana i remember when i joined the cso's mm-hmm. uh, uh, for we, f- we together formed the gender technical working group where mm-hmm. we were addressing these cases mm-hmm. there so through that now uh you know like uh, my visibility me coming out allowed to talk about this freely yeah. without fear yeah. with the confidence that i've got mm-hmm is when now they i realized hey uh, if you guys have any other uh, how you can support us on what to do you know like how to go about life yeah. and how to go and reach out to a larger community uh, audience where we can like create awareness and change the narrative and yeah. see what we can do about this mm-hmm. if not end it minimize it mm-hmm. what can we do yeah. then i was told this this survivor leadership uh, uh, you know like initiative in fact let's let's even just ask ana kuja to join as you continue yeah Mm-hmm. So survivor leadership initiative where uh, I was told about it I was like okay I I I really need to take up that you know like it's sort of like that training yeah. I want to learn more about like how I can support my community yeah. alongside what I can do and do a down a step down training for the other girls what yeah. I've learned from SLT mm. you see 
SLT had built my confidence. Mimi, my confidence in my hands. I can knock to doors of opportunities yeah. without even being called, mm -hmm. without even being, uh, you know, invited. Naenda kwa the 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 duty bearers, mm -hmm. the people in power. Mm -hmm. To just go with my, you know, like the champions, uh, these women who are also vocal and yeah. talking about them. Mm -hmm. I'm saying hi to them right now because I'm feeling so, uh, uh, you know, like happy because uh, this thing, if it, were, it were not for us to come out, mm -hmm. it wouldn't have happened. If it, was, if it wasn't for SLT, mm -hmm. we wouldn't be here today. Yeah. Let me say that because uh, I remember SLT, I, it, SLT was my safe space. Mm -hmm. I went there and trust me, all the things that I've been facing. We had a therapist who we could talk to yeah. and just release all our emotions. Yeah. We became soldiers in there. Wow. We we stood up for our rights. This yes. is our rights. Yeah. As we speak right now, well, I don't know what time it is, but as we speak right now, every minute that we're sitting here, 10 to 20 girls are going through FGM and we don't know about them. Yes. Yeah. Ataizo statistics liko na share mapema ni zile watu ambao wanazijua. Yeah. Exactly. So. And actually in Garissa right mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. in the that in the survey that was done mm -hmm. it said that uh the it's uh, there's high prevalence of FGM mm -hmm. it's at 83 83%. But I am saying it's not 83. Mm -hmm. It's actually 95. Because there is a data that wow. was done yeah. by UNICEF alongside the anti FGM board mm -hmm. that I was reading the statistics there and I was like uh, they they have written that the, the the prevalence like the number of time the the cases that were reported mm. in 2021 about FGM mm. was only one case. One case. One case. Do you believe that in 2021 yeah, a whole yeah, entire yeah, 12 no. months one, no, one case of FGM lie. was reported? <laughs> yeah, no. So lie. because now we need to use I need uh, the government of Garissa and Kenya to use Nini uh, the the Nyumbakumi initiatives. Yeah. Where are they? We have Nyumbakumi initiatives. Yes. I remember uh, I ran an organization called Northern Aid Development Agency. Mm -hmm. And I remember uh, through that, I received a grant actually, mm -hmm. uh, ALM grant, mm -hmm. uh, African-led movement grant to end FGMC mm -hmm. uh, by, from the, the, the girl generation. Mm -hmm. And this grant was supporting, you know, creating the uh, sensitization in the community, awareness creation, all that. Yeah. And I remember going there, uh, just a community engagement that I had. And we were told, Unajua Sisi Nyumbakumi, it was um, a diverse inclusion. Mm -hmm. And the, the, ba, 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 the babas there, yeah. the, the mothers are telling us, you know, we are part of Nyumbakumi initiatives. If you tell us to report in any case, we could report. Tell, give us healthline numbers. They are ready to work with us. Oh, wow. Okay? But what we have is just limited resource. Do you feel, you know, you have to say something Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I love you. Now, now for me, like, uh, like FGM, I mean, let you have a lot like pain, defaults, mm -hmm. uh, traumas. Or separate numbers. Yeah. Wow. Uh, like uh, traumas, but uh, since 2021, mm -hmm. Or even the beginning of 2022 mm -hmm. is when I'm, we met at Nefasha mm -hmm. at a meeting for SLT mm -hmm. at Sawela. Mm -hmm. hey. My friend, Sawela. even men, the cameraman, kuna jama wa camera liyaka camera chin. Na kasema, I'm not doing this. Because that was our safe space. Yeah. Oh, cameraman Alisa Mamudu. Like, yeah, it was they, emotional. They, even, even, wow. even Leila, our, our, the girl generation, like, like, at a yali and kila mtu alikuwa na liya style yake. Because that was when even me, me nili jijulia apu, like, who am I? Wow. Because now, you tell me your story, I tell you my story. Like, for me, for me, I was, like, depressed. I was mentally healed. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't have a family. I don't have education. I'm not even... Niko tu, kazi enye likuwa nafanya, like, ningi amuka tuna niente kwa club enye kwa... Nasikuwa na kunyuanga. Yeah. So, like, now, niko alcoholic. Yeah. I'm very useless. Yeah. Nikienda home, like, they know even, ata kuwasha vyombo siwezi osha. Mm. Ata, ata, nini, si, akuna kitu, nda amuka tu, nda toka asubuhi, nienda, nikunye, nirudi jioni, nikule ile chakula kama mtanipea, kama mtanipea, I'm okay. Mm. But the time, 2022, me can't lie. Mi hapo ndio nilieka limits, hapo mm -hmm. ndio nikajua boundaries zangu, hapo mm -hmm. ndio nika, 
like I come back to myself. Mm. The Nampayo, mm-hmm. that girl, that small girl in Masanda the primary school, that strong woman, yeah. that power. Yeah. You know, sometimes when I skanga sa zimbiri when I skia tu kuna kapawa inye, unataka kuifuta uleta ndani yako. Do you need so like for me now my organization is doing well by the way me I'm funded by global fund yeah that's amazing and uh, even I was funded like last year I was funded by the government of Kenya mm-hmm. net because fund of work that- because of what now I'm doing like even now my community are coming back even my mom mm-hmm. oh, that's you see like they are coming back mm-hmm. now even I'm building a house for myself so I sit each other like That's now amazing. the That's girl yeah. yeah that power it's so good to yeah. hear so for me uh-huh. slt yeah mimi mimi like uh, yani you, you know we're talking about this slt uh, that thing was an uh, it is called survival for us. leaders training. training yeah mimi sije ifanya yoga <laughs> like my friends hizi na kanga hivi nani na nilikuwa naambiwa kwa kanisa like ukifanya yoga ndio mashetani sinakuja lakini nafanyanga yoga zile mashetani zilikuwa like inside me they are just coming yeah. out and now like i'm hoping uh-huh. even in my office every day i had an, an alcoholic girl in our village mm-hmm. Ako, like aliolewa na mzee alitairi na akapewa mzee mzee kabisa mm-hmm. let me tell you huyo dem alikuwa unaona changa yeah alikuwa tu anaenda kunywa changa mm-hmm. then my office kuna kuna plots iko somewhere hapo yeah. tusa changa mm-hmm. so these women every day nikifungua ofisi wanakuja kwa ofisi yeah. wanakuja like namba si tupe 50 bobama 20 mm-hmm. hata wewe nawaambia buka eni <laughs> hapa bwana nilimuongelesha huyo dem nikamwambia you have like six kids yeah. sasa hizi wasiana wako wamesa mnalala hapa kwa hizi mitaru nikamwambia ikaa hapa nikupe story yangu You see mm. the girl alifungua roho yake na akaniambia akaniambia basi si ufungwange ofisi ya asubuhi nikuje nioshe wewe nipe kitu kaunga nini na tukaanga nayo kwa hiyo ofisi so like slt sisi walitunini like even now my organization I have village assemblies mm-hmm. because even the the the, the pathetic ya 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 fgm like wanaume wanachangia wanawake wanachangia yeah. mwanamke akupata fistula Si, sasa hizi nikikuwa na fistula nikijikojolea ama nikijiaka choo wanaume watashika mapua. Yeah. Lakini mwanamume ndiye aliniaka ball ndio nika sana nikapata fistula. Yeah. Unaona? Mm. Baba hangu. Kuna mahali mnacheza. So mm. the men wako hapa. Yeah. And now sasa kama the village assembly yenye mimi nimeanza kwetu wa mama wa kijiji kwanza ndio niliwaita na nini? kila mtu na nikwambia yeah. ebuka yani tuongee juu hii kitu inaitwa fistula ukiongea juu ya fistula kila mtu anaye ha ha ah ni wala wanawake hiyo menta kulala na wanaume wenye wako si unajua oh, yeah. venye watasema no aka ukaenda ukararuliwa mm-hmm. na wanaume hawajui ni mtoto ndiye because yeah. that because hata nini yako ilikuwa hata ndogo yeah. you know the, 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 the other side of the fajina yeah. yeah. inakuwa inakuwa ngumu yeah. you see So kikuwa ngumu like hii ka hole chini ndio itapasuka. Mimi nakwambia wanaume hapa hivi saa hizi maji. Yeah. So mm-hmm. for me saa hizi kwa kwetu. Mm-hmm. Hata unaona kama like the the government yeah. like DC mm-hmm. chiefs nini nini hizo miaka zingine walikuwa tu wanajua ah si ni ule msichana mwenye ana analewanga. Yeah. Like But DC now. wa kwetu walikuwa wananiita na nimbe. Eh? What are you saying? Then at a global fund our our ni fund ju nimefanya kasi Kenya wamenifund ju nilienda Tanzania na nikaenda ku strike na nikasema kwa mkutano acha tu leo tuongee ukweli wapi wana wake nyo wanasemanga tunadhau kutairi na shoka ju amase ukimusta na mase akitaka kukuchapa na kuambia manse si mimi mimi sina hizo blues unajua blues like sina hizo blues zako <laughs> You know what, 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 what does it mean? Yeah. The 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 nini like so unajua like the the glitter is inaweza kuwa na kauchafu mm. hata itana hata ikuwe tu hivyo chafu sana kwambia mimi nilitairi na shoka. Mm. Unaona? So nikwambia hizi and we talk we talk we talk we That's talk good. then like now the PWC mm-hmm. uh, pastoral women council ya Tanzania yeah. even this week I'm going back to to, That's, to Tanzania good. because of what I'm doing. Yeah. And now I have nimeenda sasa kwa village like back to my village back like we have to talk 
Yeah, back to your yeah. yeah, back to my village. Then uh -huh. we have another problem. Now, this <laughs> the, the story about FGM. Yeah. Sasa, you know the government of Kenya, Walieka, like it is illegal yeah. to do that. So, imekuja sasa na system ingine kwetu. Situmesa boys. Mm. So, kijana anaenda kutairi. Mm. Kijana anasema, mwanamuke mwenye ajatairi. You see? Mwanamuke oh. mwenye ajatairi. Nisilete. Ata, ata attend shere yangu. Tunambiwa sisi, mimi ni matairi namba. Mm -hmm. Inasemekana kila mwanamuka ingie chini hizi miti atoe nyazi green na shike na mikono yote mbili na mpanga laini. Na kama ujatairi, usishike nyasi, itakuwa. So, first, wale wanawake wote nyo ajatairi, Si watasimama yeah. pale mm. itakuwa aibu kwao. Of course. Na kijana hata atairi kwa sababu mama yake aje atairi. So the woman mm. na nirika yangu mm. ana have to ku, ku tairi because ndio kijana yake atairi. Wa Ebu pause. You can see how crazy this thing is. Yeah. And I'm so it's happy yani kwa sababu uh, that we have two wonderful survivors and I'm going to come up and, and wrap up with you guys but um I hope that uh, there are listeners and the people who are watching this podcast are appreciating the magnitude of of FGM and why actually we are saying that actually it is a human right violation. For someone to go through that, it's crazy. But I have Alice Mukom Kiske Mazekusu STL IV. Uh SLT, sorry. Survivor leadership training. Isn't you? That would be some of his microphone. So um Yanni, how do you feel when the ladies are speaking so highly about STL? SLT, sorry, and what what am I saying STL? STL ni mwanamuziki, si ndio? Hiyo ndio shida mzee. Stella Mwangi. Nimekuja kutu corrupt akili lakini ni sawa tu. How do you how do you feel when they speak so highly about SLT? I am humbled. Mm. And at the very, and at the, at the same time I'm very excited. Yeah. Because I know mm -hmm. it's a um, it's bearing a lot of fruits. Yeah. You have had it yourself. I can hear yeah. yeah. And it's going beyond just their communities now. <laughs> You get and just yes, mm. yes, that is what we are calling, and I'll speak about this later. Mm -hmm. Amplifying their voices, not only in their communities in Kenya, but globally. Yes, mm. yes. So I'm I'm really pl proud to hear about um, you know the work that's going on and just the confidence more party and giving them a safe a safe space for them to be able to talk ab about the issues or the challenges that they've gone through. Uh, so I've got to ask you, um, as a as SLT uh, and Alice, thank you so much for the great work that uh, that you guys are doing. How much work? Especially when it comes to issues of FGM. Okay, thank you first of all for even having us here. Uh, yeah, I mean, we no, really, the pleasure is all mine. Uh, yeah, yeah, we appreciate. And let me say that my name is Alice, and I'm here to represent the girl generation. Mm -hmm. I work for the program called. Um, Africa-led movement to end FGMC, yeah. and I take the role of the movement building lead. Mm -hmm. So when we're talking about SLT here, mm -hmm. we are talking about its survivor leadership training in full. Mm -hmm. And if I can give you like three words, it's the power to lead mm -hmm. for the survivors mm -hmm. because they are the ones that have experienced this yeah. And they should take the lead in all processes that are di directed towards ending FGM. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so for the girl generation, uh, if I can give a brief background of this training, mm -hmm. it all started because um, we, re we, we realized that survivors are doing a lot of work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And... Um, you like have now, listened, Nampayo, yes, and also listening yes, to yes. Zaytun, yeah. Yes, and you have listened to them, mm -hmm. and I am sure that you noted that the act itself, mm -hmm. the circumcision itself, yeah. is very traumatic. Yeah. You heard the story she gave, you've heard mm -hmm. what Nampayo has said, and if you can listen to the others, you will know that that act, the one day thing, eh? mm -hmm. or maybe one hour, I don't know how long it takes, is a very traumatizing event. Mm -hmm. But after that, mm -hmm. the effects and the consequences are also very traumatizing. Yeah. So there is 
trauma that is piling, that is piling, and they are living in communities where FGM is normalized. Mm -hmm. It's okay to do it. If you haven't done it, yeah. it's the problem. Mm -hmm. So some people live with this trauma, mm -hmm. even they don't know they have trauma, yeah. and they don't even know how to associate it with FGM. Mm -hmm. So we realize that, um, that we need to tackle that issue first. Yeah. And uh, at, at the girl generation, we say that you cannot pour from an empty cup. It's very true. You have to fill your cup first, mm -hmm. and then you can now go and reach out to the others. Mm -hmm. So at that point, um, the, the program introduced well-being tools, mm -hmm. and um, they were introduced to the survivors, and they proved to, to be helping them a lot. Mm -hmm. And then the program thought, okay, we need to organize ourselves more yeah. so that we can have a, a session mm -hmm. or, or a space. They, 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 they have already spoken about a safe space, yeah. a safe space for the survivors mm -hmm. so that they can speak about their stories mm -hmm. without being judged. So let, me, so let me ask you, you know, there, there are probably people who are listening to this podcast. And what I do like about this, it's very holistic. Because you have people who have gone through the 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 FGM, uh, and you, you we've heard their stories, but now they're champions. They've stood up as as heroes and as soldiers. Vilemesem, and now you've gone back to the community to trying to end this. Yes. Uh, so we do have maybe p there are people who have gone through something similar, and Wakomashinani mm -hmm. or they're doing grasswork activity, yeah. and they're like, okay, you know, I'm hearing about the Cal generation, and I'm hearing about uh, the wonderful work the great impact that SLT has had on uh, Nampayo as well as Zaitun and others, how can we be part of this? That's a very good question. And um, I would say that for, for the girl generation, we focus on partnering with everyone, state actors, mm -hmm. non-state actors, and uh, even this particular event is a call to action yeah. for everyone to come together mm -hmm and invest in survivor-led movements. Yes. yes, because we cannot speak about um, ending FGM mm -hmm. without letting the survivors be uh, in the front line yes. to, to lead this. So partnership is open. We are, we, we are actually, we, we are called um, the movement strengtheners. Mm -hmm. There's a movement, it's huge. Mm -hmm. yeah. A lot of people are working to ending FGM, but we need different stakeholders, different cross-sectoral stakeholders mm -hmm. to come together, mm -hmm. especially the media people. Yeah. We yeah. need you there big time yeah, no. so that you can amplify the voices the voice everywhere from grassroots mm -hmm. to global. Yeah. I said last year when I came to the Sari Center, my first experience, you know, now with survivors and hearing them and also watching that video, I was so moved. I was like, I I'm going to use, I'm going to use my small platform to be able to highlight this thing. And hopefully there are other influential people and media houses that can be able to pick up on this conversation. Mm -hmm. So we have a campaign to help us end this so that we don't have more Zaytuns yes. and more Nampayos. And, and this yeah. this thing is happening every single day. Mm -hmm. And I do think what I do love about what, uh, what uh, the girl generation is doing is, uh, and from my conversations is, that you're taking these individual organizations. We wanna kazi hapa, you know, like now tukona Zaytuna metoka Garissa, tukona Nampayoko up metoka Narok. There probably was some Kisi and other different places. Mm. Where this, uh, this, let's not call it a practice, we say it's a human right violation is taking place. And we're saying, you know, what and tukwe hita yako, tukwe tayako, tayako. When we bring our lights together, yeah. we shine even brighter. Yes. Yeah. That is it. Yes. That is it. Um, And uh, when we first started, we were focusing on the most affected counties, the, the, I think we, the, we selected 22 hotspots yeah. of FGMC in the country. And um, those girls came together, they didn't know each other. But if they can tell you they are here, we are they are now like sisters. <laughs> we, are eh? sisters. <laughs> yes. we even have a platform of like the, the girls who have gone through SL, SLT, a yeah. WhatsApp platform. Mm -hmm. We do daily check-ins mm -hmm. and check-outs. Survivors only. Yes. In wow. the morning, when we wake up, everyone uh, just write, say, today I feel happy. Mm -hmm. I hope it's going to be a productive day. Wow. If you we have, have a check-in yeah, and a check-out. Check mm -hmm. And we meet, okay. every month we have a virtual uh, meeting. Yeah. We meet and we just discuss what has added to our lives, mm -hmm. what has happened, mm -hmm. where can we support each other and where we facing challenges. That's really good. Yeah. Can I ask a question just before, Alice, you, 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 you chip in? Because I know, how many minutes do we have? 
Five minutes. Okay, sawa, sawa. So, are you guys going against the norm? Uh, Imagine like ya hivi, lakini nyimu na mwa maze fish zina suyu hivi, nyimu ya mwa nyini ile sama kita suyu the other way. Uh, For community. Yeah. For uh, me? Yeah. And it's a same idea. Mm-hmm. But now, mm-hmm. what I'm telling the masses, mm-hmm. like, as masses, mm-hmm. kanisa ilikuja, mm-hmm. tukakata kuingia kanisa. Mm-hmm. Shule ikakuja, tukakata kuingia shule. Mm-hmm. So, hizi miti zinapandwa, tunakata kupanda miti. Mm-hmm. Imesemekana hache ni FGM. Like, FGM ishe. Mm-hmm. FGM ishe hata. Tuzikuwa tena nyuma tena kwa hivyo. Mm-hmm. Kwa history. Mm-hmm. Nona, kwa hivyo naingia, like, we can do some things which can benefit us. Na wana skiza? Yeah, like now, mm. we are nini. Lakini unaiza shanga buwana. Mm. Daktari ndi anatairi mustana hake. And another problem we have, our girls wanaenda shule, mm. like even me had that problem mm. in Naifasa. Mm. My girl anataka, my second bona, anataka kuandagwa FGM. Na mi na fight FGM. You wow. see? Like how can I be a girl forever? Wow. Even me, I want to nini. So, the problem yeah yani by the way we have a long way to go um mm-hmm. i think uh, what i'll say is this is uh, social norms behavioral change mm-hmm. uh, in the community mm-hmm. i believe that we can promote them we can change the yeah. narrative we can change the norms yeah. um i'm um, i believe that there is no much education mm-hmm. uh, given to the community yeah. uh, you know we do community engagement religious engagement with the medical uh, health practitioners mm-hmm. And we, we want to see like how we can, you know, like not just create awareness, but see what we can do about these yeah. norms, how we can change the narratives together. Yeah. So I think we are not there yet, mm-hmm. but I believe in behavioral change and yes. social norms. It is going to happen. If it's not today, if it's not tomorrow, maybe someday. It's gonna maybe fit. it's not us. Maybe there are people who are going to do that. But we won't stop talking about ending FGM, but and then we, all, we won't also uh, stop you know creating awareness That's it. telling them what to do and and what not to do That's you know fantastic. yeah so i think uh, um I've, i've also had something i want to touch on and the religion yeah. yeah oh sorry mm-hmm. this is just going to be um very mm-hmm. short yeah. uh we are thinking of like bringing them all the the, the people that i've mentioned who yeah. we can work together to end fgm mm-hmm. and we are even thinking of like a uh, clitoral reconstruction Yes, that's happening. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's happening. Mm-hmm. If the community will be able to accept this to happen. Yeah. Uh, what is going to happen? The health, I, I reached out to uh, uh, some uh, friends, medical officers that I know. Mm-hmm. And I told them about this research that was sent to me by a friend to just go through the yeah. re- 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 cultural record, reconstruction. reconstruction yeah. And they were like, we are okay to do that. We are okay to collaborate. Yes. If you guys do this in the community and create awareness if they're able to do that, but we're still fearing, like, mm-hmm. you know, the stigma that's going to come with, what's yeah. going to happen? What percentage is going to allow a mm-hmm. cultural reconstruction? Yeah. So I think I'm going to have it there. So I hope we end up jam. That is my have, hope. We need to have more of this we conversation. Just, yes, I'm we need to have more of like episodes. Yeah. I don't think today would be enough, but today then we need to talk about, yeah, yeah. yeah, in depth what's happening. That's true. Yeah. And you have to help us wrap up this. Yes, um, I feel like I, I wasn't here, but it's okay. So um, I want to first respond to what you asked. Mm-hmm. Are they going against the grain? The norm. Yes. Mm-hmm. I would say that they are correcting what has been normalized That's so that good. we can go to what to where we should That's be. very good. Yeah, and I'm so happy to hear that them saying that they check in, they check, check out, out because they learned this in SLT. It. Yeah. It's one of yes. the emotional well-being, well-being. tools. Yeah. And um, for us, um, we are having a lot of a different challenges as far as SLT is concerned. And uh, mainly because this SLT is in very, very high demand now. Mm-hmm. We are doing it in Kenya, Somaliland, Ethiopia, and Senegal, because that is where our program focuses. Yeah. But we are saying that uh, there is high demand for this, mm-hmm. and the survivors have to lead from the front. Yeah. And the only way for them to do this is if, uh, to, for them to be empowered. Yeah. And there is no better way, there is no better tool than SLT. Yes. Like so, yeah. And also, um, I would say that through this SLT, we've also learned a lot. And one of the things that I would like to highlight here is that survivors can build their agency and power mm-hmm. to change this world so yes. that we can stop 100%. FGM. Mm-hmm. And so we need to 
um, refocus the resourcing mm -hmm. so that we can ensure that um, the survivors have got the resources they need in terms of skills and funding. Mm -hmm. And I can assure you that uh, what we have done mm -hmm has proved very, very effective because we have taken, they are here, they can tell you, we have given them platforms. You, you in testimonies here. Yeah, we have given platforms to these people yeah. to represent us even in London. Right now as we speak, two of them are in London. That's excellent. Yeah, attending the FCDO commemoration of, yeah. of uh, zero tolerance. We have facilitated them to go and speak in international forums like the Women Deliver Conference that we had last year. Yeah and the AU Forum. So what I'm, I'm, I would like to conclude by saying is that we should all invest in survivor-led movement. Yes. Mm -hmm. Through that, we'll be able to make meaningful gains mm -hmm in ending FGM. That's what's up. And thank of course, uh, guys, I want to say again, thank you so much for joining us for the podcast today. I want to say a big thank you again going out to Zaytun, Nampayo, together with you, Alice, and the wonderful team that you guys are working with at the Girl Generation. Thanks you guys are doing an amazing work. Yeah. And I'm really glad Thank that you. you could have allowed me to have these conversations and uh, for me to be able to appreciate more about what goes on. And as we say, Zillow, hey, Zillow, zero. <laughs> as we say, zero tolerance, you know, uh, towards um, FGM, we do need to stop it. And yeah. this can only start with you and me. And if we, like we're saying, if we bring our voices together, we can only get louder mm. and be able to protect the young girls that we have in our community and be able to stop this as it's been so clearly put out. It's definitely a human right violation. So again, Yanni, thank you guys for joining us. Please, thank you so much for joining us on the podcast today. It's been long, but it's been good. It's been great conversation. There's so much more I wanted to ask, Maze. Come on, you got Maze. Only little has he home. I'm going to go to Nyumbani. That's why I said we need to have more episodes. <laughs> uh, we have got a lot to talk about. Yeah, Maze. Uliu, 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 katena. I'm a bad one. Like, for me, uh, at least I is in a Zapenda. Thank you so much, man. Wait, so this is um any reaction, Sasa? In and um, have you been in a space where you've gotten to hear first hand survivors of FGM? No. No. How does it make you feel, Kate? Heartbroken. Even you know, just considering the fact that, man, this thing is still going on despite the many, many efforts that are being made against it. You know, it's illegal. People are still doing it. I don't know how much more we can do, but I mean, I'm so grateful on behalf of, you know, every woman in Kenya, every, you know, people going through FGM to Zaytun, to Nampayo, to Alice for the amazing, amazing work that they're doing because without these women, man, Today is when I've known that there are even different types of FGM. I had no idea. I had no idea how severe some of them were. And it breaks my heart. And I feel I'm, I'm in a very privileged position. And because of that, it is, I feel called to continue pushing for this cause and, you know, to actually making people around me more aware of this. So, yeah, I'm glad we had this episode I'm so today. Glad, so, I mean, when they were talking, could you picture yourself going through that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And especially when Zaytun was, you know, like she had absolutely no idea when she was saying her story that she had no idea yeah. what, she, what she was going, about to go through. And, you know, the trauma that she went through, I can't I can't even begin to tell you the chills that went through my body. I was, hey, yeah. it's crazy to think about it. And yeah, so you appreciate it more now. I appreciate it more and I appreciate the cause that these women are pushing for without them. I don't know. Thank you. That's my genuinely. producer right there. Yeah. I wewe acha kwa nenda maliza na yeye acha kwanza niende kwa msee wetu mzee wa tech sevia how does it make you feel mike ni yako ya nilitiki ukijishika kichwa mzee alijishika hivi when he was listening to the story akajifunika macho for me i didn't know it was that serious i've heard of it before mm -hmm. and uh my mom is from kisi mm -hmm. and there's a time she talked of it mm -hmm. and she said some some of our neighbors went through and they really they had to be hospitalized for some time because wow. of they were mm -hmm. so for me i had no idea of exactly what were the details but now hearing it 
uh, I think we need to where we are at right now. Mm -hmm. We need to wake up and stop it for good. So you're just about to get married. Uh, yeah. It's like, and now one of the challenges that has come up is Nampayo uh, Likwanasema, NZ2 Nikua, the young men who are trying to get married, Unasema, please bring us women who are, you know, who've gone through FGM. Would you ask of that of your girlfriend? No, 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 no. I will never. I will never. I will never. Ata nikisikia community na support, I go through that. Mm -hmm. I like we'll that, man. get into a serious fight because of that. Please speak up about it. I will. Finally. <laughs> uh, yeah. You're a father of two girls. Um, I can't imagine. I can't even believe, begin to imagine the trauma that these two ladies have gone through. It is gut-wrenching. Mm. It's gross. It is one of the lowest levels of demeaning a human being. Yeah. yeah. I think there's a reason as to why they are called private parts. Yeah. Because they're meant to be private. Mm. And when you get to a point where you are old enough to understand that these are parts that need to be preserved and to be kept away from everybody's access. And here it is being mutilated mm -hmm. all in the name of uh carrying on a practice that they don't even understand themselves yeah. and see how damaging it is both physically, psychologically, for the rest of their lives. They'll carry this thing on. Yeah. And I think men need to step up mm -hmm. and shape up. More so from the, the men who are coming from these different communities. Mm -hmm. We need them to be standing out and speaking out against this. Yeah. Because I can't imagine. I, it's not fair. Having heard that somebody is cut and being stitched, some are being completely damaged. And no. Yeah. Apart from the physical damage, Man. the emotional damage, the yeah. trauma that they have to carry with them. And I'm glad that they are happy and they can say they have gone through this. Yeah. Yeah. You know. And you're brave enough to... Yeah. SLT, yeah. Brave, <laughs> brave enough to, to stand against the tide. Yeah. No matter what is said against you, I think... That, that in itself should be acknowledged as a, as a feat on its own. Yes. That you have stood and said no to the next generation. Yeah. No matter how much it is being pushed by the older generation and the people who don't have full understanding of this, I'm really, I'm really happy to have met you and yeah. to have heard your story. And yeah. ask guys, mm. yeah. we'll continue championing you guys. And this has been so... I opening to another dimension, yeah. It has. This has been good. Thanks, guys. Thank you too. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.